Hello. Hi, I'm Eric Chevalier, and William Gibson said, the future is here, it's just not evenly distributed yet. He's right, but what he didn't say is that it's our job to distribute it. One of the tools in doing that is a fabric, which is a small manufacturing plat that, plat, plat, plant that you give raw material and digital plans to, and it prints out a real physical object for, the, for you to use. Just like most of our modern, cool, daily use technologies, such as cell phones and jetpacks, fabrics come from science fiction. Neil Stevenson used them in the Diamond Age to change whole societies, and uh, hopefully we'll get to do the same pretty soon. The most popular fabrics were the replicators in Star Trek, where one could walk up to them, ask for their favorite menu items, such as hot Earl Grey tea, and it would sparkle into existence right there. <clears throat> That's lovely, but what about reality, which I hear a lot, and uh, not just about this topic, but luckily there's a lot of cool new developments and existing projects that um, are bringing fabrics into reality. If you're an architect or a uh, designer, you may have seen one of these. Um, a lot of corporations have them. They take powders, glues, and inks and print out facsimiles of a 3D model. Do a pretty good job at it, too. Um, MIT's Fluid Interface Lab is doing the Cornucopia, which is a food printer, and a lot of different companies are making bioprinters, which print out parts of organs and eventually will print out whole internal organs to replace our broken ones. Um, the main issue with all this, and the reason none of us will probably get to use them, is the prohibitive cost. They start at about quarter million dollars and go up from there. What we really need is something under $1,000, like the MakerBot. It's a kit that you can order online, makerbot.com, and it goes together like an IKEA bookshelf. <clears throat> it's made by these three guys, Adam, Zach, and Bree, at NYC Resistor, a really cool hacker space. Um, then they went and founded the company. They open sourced all the plans and the whole machine so you can upgrade it, fix it, and share that with the whole community. It's basically a glorified hot glue gun with a moving platform underneath that layers up the plastic until you have your object. The print head that comes with it right now can print with ABS plastic, which is what Legos are made out of, and PLA, which is a compostable plastic made from corn that smells like butter when you print with it. <clears throat> They've also made other extruders that can do clay, silicone, and cupcake frosting. <laughs> a lot of the time when I've talked about this with people, they just, they think it's really cool, but they just don't quite get it, and they ask me, what can I make with it? And it really is just about anything. Um, there's a variety of 3D software out there now, Google SketchUp and Blender, you can grab for free and start modeling. If you need a replacement pair of glasses, or braille signs for your indie work, or if your dog swallowed your favorite Lego piece. Um, there's a website that the MakerBot guys created called thingiverse.com, where you can download or share models that you've made or friends have made, and you can share them across the world, so if you make a design one day, somebody in Germany can print it out the next. Um, or, yeah, if you don't know how to make it, you can just grab a design online. Um, right, if you need to make your own toys or print replacement parts for the MakerBot. Not content with just being awesome, MakerBot's now making a 3D laser printer, that, uh, or laser scanner, sorry, where you can put anything in, including your own head, and print it out in plastic in minutes, <laughs> plastic or peanut butter. Um, for under a grand, that's really fantastic, but it's still not cheap enough. Most artists are barely getting by paying their rent right now, so we need something better. So I, I think we should all get together and brainstorm and pool our resources, rent a space, buy a couple maker bots and computers from FreeGeek, and start a 3D printing co-op. Thank you. I propose we call that co-op Objectifier. 
and make, make it easy to make stuff. So if you like the idea and you want to play with 3D printers, find us on Twitter at Objectifier, also on Facebook. Thank you.